welcome today to today's session of v tagger and tally integration so before i start the session uh, let me share you that uh, there are three modules from v tagger which gets integrated with tally namely one is organization second is a uh, product and third is invoice so the similar module in tally is called ledger and then stock items and sales vouchers now these are the fields which are mapped from the standard tally fields to the standard v tagger fields these are available in this url for your review all right and at the moment uh, v tagger and tally works on a one way sync which means v tagger pulls data from v, uh, tally and inserts that record or updates that record in in v tagger eventually there would be a two way sync hopefully by uh, january end uh, we would be having a two way sync between tally and v tagger but at the moment i will show you the session of knowledge sharing of one way sync between v tagger and tally and uh, at the moment tally erp9 version is integrated with uh, v tagger now the first i will show you uh, a data in um, the v uh, in tally so let's go to the account data so account in the sense uh, it's called ledgers which is organization in v tagger let me just go and update one of the records in that so let's say there is a account called as acme uh, i have made it as test acme now if you noticed in the v tagger instance it's test acme now i'm going to change it to acme in uh, tally right so here i'm just changing it to acme incorporation back okay so test acme is gone and we save it all right so now it has become acme incorporation so the next is let me update one product in uh, in um, the tally so let's go to uh, inventory info in uh, tally erp9 so I go over here, I go to stock items. Okay, and let me alter one of these stock items. Or maybe we'll do both of them. So the first product item is called Sales Starter V Tiger uh, CRM. So if you see over here in the uh, V Tiger system, you would see uh, the similar record over here in this uh, V Tiger system. All right, so you can see here Sales Starter V Tiger and you have all in one enterprise. Now we'll just change the stock quantity in the uh, tally and see so right now the sales starter is 15 quantity and 100 in the, the system and also in in v tiger now we will make it to so let's say v tiger sales starter we will make the inventory stock to around uh, say 75 all right okay so made it to 75 as the stock in v tiger and uh, well, let's make the enterprise edition stock from 100 to let's say 150 We will make it to 150 all right so you can see the stock item in uh, v tiger has increased to 150 and we have saved it okay just to recheck yes you can see 150 now third let's uh, amend one invoice in uh, the tally all right uh, and i'll show you the invoice in v tiger so you can see one of the invoices in v tiger uh, is uh, added load so you can see uh, this is the invoice, one of the invoice uh, which we created to an organization called New India. So the value is 813,600. Let me just go and amend that invoice in uh, the tally. All right. So now I go here, I go to accounting vouchers. So an invoice this is a sales accounting voucher. So you can see we are on the sales. So let me go to that invoice. Yes, I've gone here. So now you can see it is invoice number one. Okay. And now let me amend it, this invoice. Okay. yeah so let me make it as 100 users so you can see the invoice amount is changed to 14 lakhs uh, all right okay and now we go yeah. save so now these are the three values which uh, we have saved in the uh, tally erp all right now uh, there is a batch file which is uh, the integration file now this is a batch file uh, which can be scheduled in windows for every minute or for every hour or daily once whichever way you feel the frequency in which you want you can put it automatically in the background the windows server or windows starts this batch file now let me manually start it so i click on this you can see manually the uh, batch file has started the sync is in progress 
it just takes a few uh, you know few seconds uh, within which the synchronization happens based on the number of records of course uh, so you can see the sync is in progress but when we configure this as a automatic scheduler it will run in the background it will not require to know whether it's running or not so there, there you go so the sync has happened now let's one by one see how uh, these records are updated. So right now here, test Acme, we made it as Acme. So let me refresh this and see if it's become Acme. Okay, there you go. Acme is, it's, it's amended that and synchronized from tally. Next year, you can see we made this as 75 and we made this stock as 175, so 150, so let's see. If that record has come yeah there you go you can see the inventory is updated now let's see the invoice so here we have made the amount to 16 lakh something yeah so it's refreshing there you go so that's how we tiger is integrated with tally let's wait for the two-way thing shortly Happy CRM, Ming, bye.